So Tom, what are we standing in front of here today? Uh, we're standing in front of a uh, brand new Cessna Caravan uh, EX. It uh, has 867 horsepower, has a uh, range of about 1,700 kilometers, and we've kitted it out for an ISR uh, surveillance role here. Uh, so what you'll see is uh, we have a synthetic aperture radar, uh, an EOIR camera on one side, and another one on the other side here. So it's uh, specifically designed for high capability ISR. Perfect. And can you tell us a bit more about Churchill? Yeah, so our company got uh, started building mission management systems. It's still the bulk of our business. Uh, however, over the course of uh, time, we realized that there might be an opportunity to uh, build a stabilized camera system as well. So we've started doing that as well. Uh, in the course of uh, developing these systems and interfacing with other vendors' products, we realized that we were going to need to have a, a flight capability ourselves. And uh, we looked around at all the aircraft that were available and decided uh, the caravan best met our needs. Okay, so do you see this going into production at all? Or? Yeah, so I'd, I'd say the general trend towards the use of uh, light aircraft that are commercially available, uh, especially if you can equip them with hard points, is one that we expect to see a lot more of. Uh, the initial cost of uh, acquisition, as well as uh, operation costs, is just radically less than a lot of uh, more conventional platforms. So this aircraft has a range of approximately 1,700 kilometers in uh, long-range configuration. Uh, generally speaking, we're conducting missions where we're taking off and landing at the same airport. And what's really important to us is uh, time aloft. And there we get anywhere from uh, six to eight hours, depending on mission configuration. Uh, inside, what you'll find is that we currently have installed four uh, custom carbon fiber consoles. Each of these is connected to a patch panel in the back that in turn is connected to all of the sensors on the, uh, the wings there. Uh, in addition to the EOIR, the radar equipment that we have on there, we also have a uh, line of sight downlink, uh, which is provided by Silvus. It gets us about 100 to 200 kilometers, depending on uh, where we're flying at and our altitude. Uh, and we can uh, equip this with a variety of other sensors as well. So we have AIS receivers, ADSB receivers, uh, a lot of the partner companies that we've worked with uh, will temporarily install or perhaps sometimes permanently install their equipment in here as well. Uh, the consoles themselves are equipped with uh, 36U of Zeus uh, rack mount space, so you can put radios in there. And we have a, a voice over IP intercom system that we've developed that complements the, uh, the, the mission capability there. Uh, we're currently using 24-inch touchscreen monitors here. And this derives our augmented reality mapping capability, which uh, you're looking at right now. Do you say it was possible then to move these workstations outside of the plane? That's right. So one of the advantages of this type of aircraft is the multi-mission capability. So in about 15 minutes, we can uh, loosen the bolts on the bottom, uh, disconnect the umbilical cord from the sidewall, and pull all of the consoles out. You can use the aircraft in a cargo capacity at that point, uh, or if you want, you can put in leather seats, use it for VIP transport, or put in uh, cots and use it for medevac.